Just because this is only radar indicated, you're still under a tornado warning if you're in this box. We have the risks of seeing these nocturnal tornadoes. Make sure you have a way, several ways to get watches and warnings. As we near the evening hours, make sure your phone is fully charged, you have your computer up, turn your TV on if you are planning on having to go to bed early tonight. Behind me is just some damage left after an EF2 tornado struck areas in Coles County Friday, December 10th. It's around two inches, but obviously because of the gusty winds, we're not actually able to get as accurate of measurements. It's going to cause some serious travel impacts. Stay off the roads if you can today and tomorrow. It's not really a powdery snow as much as it was yesterday, but it's also not that great of packing snow. You can kind of get a little bit of a snowball out about it, but so. I know that you're happy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, no, it didn't work. That was a really bad one. <laughs> and it's cold outside right now, so we're going to head back inside to Nicole where it's a little bit warmer. Yeah, Savannah, you come on in here, warm up. We will have 10 miles per hour shy of an EF5. So, wow. I mean, they're, they're going to be picking up the pieces for a long time. Absolutely. Long past probably that 30-day mark. And we were very fortunate here yes. to not see what they saw yeah. over there. I was in Mattoon yesterday. We just saw an EF2. I mean, still extensive damage, but not like areas that got hard hit in parts of Kentucky. A lot of states are going to see lots of snow and are under that winter storm warning. That's that pink color I showed winter weather advisories then and that purple color around that. Already starting to bring snow and drop some snow across the Great Plains and states across the Midwest. Nothing locally yet besides a little bit of cloud coverage. Some showers are starting to pop up. That's mainly to our northeast counties. We'll put our future cast in motion. A couple showers can't completely be ruled out early in the morning. The main system that could pose severe weather threats comes later in the day. During the late afternoon, early evening hours, that's kind of when we first see the heavy rain, maybe some gusty winds and storms come into play. The severe weather, though, we're thinking is going to come later tonight after dark hours and then through the overnight hours. This is what the radar will look like as we get through 11, as we near midnight and then 1 a.m. in the morning. So some severe weather risks are there for us. We are going to clear up for the weekend after that, but this is going to come Friday night into Saturday early morning. The Storm Prediction Center's outlook for today has been increased, so originally Originally, we were under a marginal risk. Most of the valley is now at least under a level two out of five when it comes to seeing these severe to strong to severe thunderstorms. That's a level slight two out of five. And then most of the county, about a sliver of Vermilion County and southward, so a little north of I-70 and southward, that's under an enhanced risk of seeing these strong to severe thunderstorms. Wind risk has been also upgraded, about a 15% chance in north counties and then a 30% chance in this red color. So we'll likely see some damaging winds in some areas. And then we will also likely see several warnings and watches be issued later in the day. Make sure you have a way, several ways to get watches and warnings. As we near the evening hours, make sure your phone is fully charged. You have your computer up. Turn your TV on if you are planning on having to go to bed early tonight. Make sure your volume's up. Don't silence your phone tonight. Make sure you have several ways to get these watches and warnings because we are likely going to see several issued. Hail risks also got upgraded. We might see some smaller hail, but tornadoes actually got upgraded. This is pretty high for this time of year for our area let alone. We, since I started about a year and a month ago, have not seen tornado risks this high. We have about a 5% chance, which is high in north areas. We also now have this hatched area that's about a 15% or a 10% chance. But honestly, this means that we could see these nocturnal significant, which is an EF2 or higher tornadoes. Long track tornadoes cannot be completely ruled out. There are higher risks just south of our area, but these cannot be ruled out. So you need to have your safe place to go, whether that's your own basement, interior rooms on the lowest level of your floor. If you don't have a basement, honestly, you might want to have or know somebody that you can trust, family, friends, somewhere you need to go tonight. I'll be also coming in to help Jesse. We don't have a morning show tomorrow, but I'll be coming in to keep you guys all updated and stay safe overnight through the morning hours of tomorrow. 60 is going to be the high today. Dew points are also going to be pretty high, close to our temperature. We're going to have plenty of instability and key ingredients needed for severe weather. 50 is what we're going to drop to tonight. 59 Saturday and 49 Sunday.